Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein reacting to reports of a grand jury being impaneled. Here to weigh in, Harvard Law School professor, lifelong Democrat, Alan Dershowitz. Professor, always good to have you with us. Thank you. So you heard it there from the Deputy Attorney General that when it comes to this investigation and Mueller, it is not a fishing expedition. What do you make of that? Well, the Justice Department rules and regulations are very broad. Remember that the special prosecutor who started investigating Bill Clinton about Whitewater ended up uh, accusing him based on uh, a private sexual relationship with Monica Lewinsky. So I don't think that President Trump or his administration should take much solace in the claim by Rosenstein that this is not a fishing expedition. I do think that they're uh, looking to catch uh, Moby Dick, the big whale, mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's what uh, the, the special counsel will be after, uh, Donald Trump or anybody as high up in the administration as possible. If he doesn't get somebody, he'll be regarded as a failure who spent a lot of money investigating and came up with nothing. So I think <clears throat> there is very much of an incentive to try to come up with something serious. So you're saying the White House should be concerned. How do you think this, this grand jury being impaneled, how does that change things? Well, the fact that it's impaneled in the District of Columbia, they already had a grand jury mm -hmm. impaneled in Virginia. And I think that one of the reasons they moved this to the District of Columbia is that's a completely Democratic district, as distinguished from Virginia, which is a swing state. And it has an ethnic and racial composition that would be somewhat less favorable to Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. And uh, any, any experienced lawyer understands that both prosecutors and defense attorneys look at factors like ethnicity, uh, race, uh, uh, political affiliation when they decide what uh, venue is best for their case. So yeah. uh, that, there's nothing surprising about that, but it does, I think, give a slight advantage to the prosecutor if there were an indictment, if they had to pick a petty jury, uh, either in Virginia or the District of Columbia, they would have an advantage in picking one in the District of Columbia. Well, speaking of ethnicity, you made these comments after it was announced about this, or reported rather, about the grand jury. And Maxine Waters, as you know, has a lot to say about everyone and everything. And she targeted you most recently this past week on MSNBC and reacted mm -hmm. to some comments that you made. Here's what she said. Right. And what Washington, he's simply D. saying, you know, all of those black people are there, and they don't like Trump, and so he's not going to get a fair trial, and so they should take it out of that jurisdiction. It shouldn't be there to begin with. I don't like that, uh, and I'm surprised that Alan Dershowitz is talking like that, and we will not stand for it. We will push back against that, because that is absolutely racist. Obviously, there she's talking about the people that make up this grand jury in Washington, D.C. How do you respond to that? Well, she doesn't know what she's talking about. Uh, first of all, I wasn't talking about the grand jury. I was talking about the petty jury. Grand jury doesn't matter. A grand jury will indict a ham sandwich if the prosecutor wants them to. So it doesn't matter where the grand jury is. But if there were to be an indictment, it would matter greatly where the trial was. Look, uh, Maxine Waters should know better and does know better. She knows that every experienced lawyer, white, black, uh, Asian, Latino, knows that when you're selecting a jury, factors like ethnicity, race, political affiliation, uh, a matter. Uh, if I had said that race didn't matter, she'd have called me a racist. She throws around the mm. term so loosely and so inappropriately, and it, it weakens her credibility just by calling everybody a racist, by calling me a racist. When she calls real racists racists, nobody is going to uh, believe her. Uh, would she have called Johnny Cochran a racist when he obviously understood that the racial composition of the jury in the O.J. Simpson case? mattered a great deal. Race matters. And Maxine Waters ought to know that, and she ought to be ashamed of herself. You know, being black doesn't give you a license to call people racist any more than being Jewish mm. gives you a license to call people anti-Semitic. So she ought to understand that every criminal defense lawyer knows that race matters, ethnicity matters, political affiliation matters. Uh, we're not talking about computers here. We're talking about real jurors making real decisions, and jurors make decisions based on their life experience. Right. And race and ethnicity is part of everyone's life experience. And Maxine Waters, more than anyone, ought to know that. So she just tossed it around uh, and targeted yeah. me uh, for no, no good reason. She ought to be ashamed of herself. Professor, some strong words there in reaction and from a lifelong Democrat. Always good to have you on the show. Have a wonderful Sunday. Thank Thanks you. For being here.